In today's video, I want to feature the L-shaped rip vents that I use for the bandsaw. As you can see, the L-shaped rip vents is made from scrap pieces of MDF. The fence has a rub strip of red oak. Notice how the spring clamps are used to secure the L-shaped rip fence to the regular bandsaw fence. Watch how the woodworker feeds the material into the bandsaw blade. It's an easy process. His fingers have plenty of space. His hand has space to guide the material past the blade. Also notice how the bearing guide assembly of the bandsaw is set low. This is done for safety. There's very little bandsaw blade exposed to the fingers of the woodworker. In this video sequence, the woodworker is cutting a wood inlay banding log. A jointed edge of the log is against the L-shaped rip fence. He's simply making a parallel cut. Now the woodworker is going to cut thin strips of veneer. Each veneer has a thickness of 3 seconds of an inch. Notice the blue Rockler thin rib jig. It has a roller bearing. The roller bearing is 3 seconds of an inch from the bandsaw blade. This provides for a consistent uniform cut. Here's a good close-up view. Look how little of the bandsaw blade is exposed to the woodworker. This is made possible by the use of the L-shaped rip fence. After each rip cut is performed, the fence is slid towards the Ruckler thin rip jig. Now we're ready to make another slice. We can push the material forward and then simply walk around the bandsaw to pull the material through. <laughs> 